I've installed TV brackets on plaster, wood, and brick, but because I've only tested brackets, I have no experience working with metal studs. Even though I'm certainly not a tradie, I nevertheless get asked about metal studs, so I figured that I might have a play. Metal studs might seem like a weird topic of conversation, but we're always telling people to use any TV bracket they like, except if the studs are metal or really old or weak brick. I was told that metal studs rely in a large part on the plaster to give it integrity. So without reinforcing the wall, most screws will pull through the wall if you use a tilt or full motion TV bracket. To mount on metal studs, you need to spread the force over a larger area, sort of like what you have to do when you're mounting onto plaster only. A metal stud is of course better than plaster on its own, but not nearly as secure as wood or solid brick. Enough small talk, time to visit the big green building well, I'll grab some metal studs or C-channel. I guess it's called C-channel due to the shape. I reckon there's a huge variation in quality for C-channel, and this one seemed to be at the bottom end. It's probably welcome news for my drill, and a good worst case scenario for TV mounts. I added these pieces to the test wall. The stud finder had no issue in finding the studs, but even a simple magnet would also work. Obviously, I still recommend an installer as there might be stuff like PVC pipe or electrical cables. For plaster, some people use universal wall plugs or wall mates. Bear in mind, they're not really designed for this. They're designed really for mortar. So on plaster, I would recommend against the nylon wall mates, go for the zinc ones. For universal wall anchors, I would use the ones that come with the Vogels as the bolts are better to work with than the Phillips head screws. But let's face it, even with the Vogel's Fisher anchors, I still struggle. So while granted they're better than nothing, they're certainly not a great option. For plaster, I like the ones like Toggler or Grippets, as you can make a dirty big hole. For metal studs, that's not so easy, as they're very thin and very metal. Metal hole cutters are also very expensive. Until now, I have no good solution for metal studs. There are a lot of really good installers that use tech screws on metal studs. These screws should ideally be short and the thread needs to go to the end. I notice that they drill through the plaster to the metal stud. Then they give the screw a bit of a knock so it dints the thin metal stud to avoid it slipping around. And then they drill confidently into the stud. I have two issues. A, it doesn't really spread the load that much. And B, it always seems to work for them and never works for me. The only foolproof method seems to be using hollow wall anchors. I bought the M5 hollow wall anchors, which come in pack sizes of 10 to a pack or 100 to a pack if you use them regularly. You don't need to buy the RAM sets. Apparently there are other options that are more durable, but this one was fine for me. You just drill a hole. It said use 9mm drill bits. I'm not only a terrible installer, but as mentioned, I'm also terribly impatient. So I used a 10mm bit. You insert the hollow wall anchor into the hole. Leave a gap between the head of the M5 screw and the wall. The tool has a slot in the end. As you squeeze the handle, it forces the screw backwards and then the legs spread out. It doesn't seem to matter if you squeeze it too much. Remember, foolproof. When you're done, hit the trigger. The first attempt looked a bit dodgy, but it worked. I then tried it into the metal stud and it was fine. So my final words, if you're using metal studs, I'd suggest spending the $50 or so on the hollow wall anchors and the tool, and you should be fine.